Sports Ministry and Chrysia PN. Finally, they handed over a three-bedroom apartment to the Black Stars coach, and the move by the ministry is to save government several thousands of dollars uh, dashed out yearly in accommodation for the uh, Black Stars uh, coach. Here is Sports Minister Honorable Isaac Kisiyama. So as a government, we have decided to save more money to protect the national purse so that the taxpayer will be okay. So in view of our limited resources for sports development, we decided ourselves to secure a decent residence that befits the status of a national coach. With the collaboration of the Ministry of Western Housing to secure this very decent official accommodation for the national team. And as you are aware, and as you have seen, this obviously befits the status of a national team coach. It has a space, it has everything, it's well located in a secured environment. We believe that as a ministry, whatever we do, we need to take care of other national sporting disciplines, not only football. So with these savings, we can then address all the challenges that confront other sporting disciplines. And we believe that the coach will have the peace, the comfort, and the freedom that is required of a national coach to be able to discharge his duties well to serve the nation. This is not for any personality, no. It's for the present and the future. We have a present coach here can also serve the interests of the future. So we are saying that never again should we spend so much on hotel accommodation so that with this one, though a very comfortable place, we can also, of course, make some savings for the country. So that is why we are here. So, Mr. Coach, this obviously befits the status of a national coach. Uh, it's a three-bedroom apartment with some quarters for his visitors and other people. So that was First Minister Isaac Isiyama speaking there. Now, the apartment is located around the airport residential area and is expected to, you know, house uh, coaches of the Black Stars. And Kusiapia is the first beneficiary. Well, he uh, spoke and uh, applauded the ministry's vision to secure accommodation for him. It's an opportunity to thank the minister, you know, for his vision. Because I believe that, you know, for a nation to be paying for uh, uh, the coaches, you know, to stay in a hotel, it's not worth it. It's, I'm really pleased and I hope that in future, you know, we will have um, all national teams, coaches, not only me, but all national team coaches to have accommodation, you know, uh, permanent accommodation for, uh, for the current and then the future ones. And, um, you know, I believe that um, this wouldn't have been possible if the nation's uh, our president had not stepped in, you know, uh, he personally insisted that they try to uh, get in with the influence of the minister and through the housing minister, uh, this um, that we see this uh, beautiful house. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'd like to thank each and everyone for coming, and I believe that, you know. The media being here is good in one way, but on the other side of it, you know, don't show it to people to come and line up here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs>